Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be mixing up a recipe called Super Cereal Milk. Now, before I go any further, this is not a finished recipe like the last one. I'm doing a bit more of this just because it gives me more content to put out and we can work on stuff together, get your suggestions in there, that kind of stuff. But below will be the ELR link to take a look at it. But we have a few ingredients in here and uh, I'll go over them as we mix and that'll be fun. So let's get started, shall we? All right, down below on the mixing table, and we have got our scale ready, got our gloves on, got our mixer ready, got all our flavors here. So let's go over the flavors first. So the first one is Acetyl Pyrazine by TFA, and that's in at 0.5%. Okay, so that's just there to add kind of the uh, cereal note a little bit more and give it kind of that graininess. Next up is Berry Crunch Cereal by TFA. That's in at 3.5% to give it that cereal note. Next up is Billberry at 0.5%, and that's there to give it just a bit more berryness to the mix and help out that, uh, that cereal a little bit. Next up is Cereal 27 by Capella at 0.5%. That's there just to give it sort of a more cereal grain kind of deal with the uh, acetylpyrazine helping it out. Next up is Dairy Milk by TFA. That's in at 1%, and that's there just to add to the dairy milk note with the meringue that's in here, just to kind of give it that sweet cereal milk. Next up is Marshmallow, and that's in there to just kind of add to the fluffiness of the mix a little bit and taste a little bit better, you know, a little bit more fluffy, that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, meringue is in there. That's in at 1.5%. And then we have vanilla bean ice cream. That's there to add thickness to it along with some density. Yeah, you like that, John? John commented on one of my videos and said you should use the word density. There you go. I used it. There you go. But anyways, without further ado, let's start mixing. All right, so now that we're down here, we're going to start mixing up. So let's turn our scale on. We'll grab a bottle. Tear it out. Like so. Now I do have to use a pipette for the vanilla bean ice cream and the um, and the meringue, I believe, because I don't have um, any more pipettes. I'm going to have to use one, so it's a little bit of cross contamination. But they're both cream, so I'm not too worried about it. So and they're they're pretty similar, so I'm not too worried about it. But Anyways, first up is acetylpyrazine. Now, if I can find it in my mess of flavors here, should be there. It is right there. So, acetylpyrazine is in at 0.5% or 0.15 grams. Okay, so let's put that in. There we go. Acetylpyrazine is in. Next up is Berry Crunch Cereal, which do I have up here? I should. Oh, I don't have it up here. All right, quick cut. Be right back. All right, we're back. So, Berry Crunch Cereal is in at 3.5% or 1.05 grams. Okay, that is in. Next up is Bilberry, which is somewhere up here. Here it is. Bilberry is in at 0.5% or 0.15 grams. Should do it. So I got a couple extra drops in there, so. 0 0.15 grams is in. Next up is Cereal 27. To just put here somewhere. I have so many flavors up here. I really need to organize this. Cereal 27, where are you? 
Oh, it's right in front of me. I'm blind. So this is in at 0.5% well, as well, or 0.15 grams. There we go. Serial 27's in. Next up is Dairy Milk by TFA. I know you're up here somewhere. Another cut. Got to go grab that now. All right. I'm pretty sure I have everything now. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, I misplaced things a lot. I just cleaned this out and then I put all a bunch of flavors back up here. So dairy milk is in at 1% or 0 0.3 grams. Okay. Dairy milk is in. Next up is Marshmallow, or DX Marshmallow, and that is in at 1% or 0 0.3 grams as well. Okay, marshmallows in. Next up is meringue. Now meringue is somewhere up here. I think it's, yep, right here. All right, so meringue is in at 1.5% or 0 0.45 grams. Hey, look at that, some natural lights coming in. How handy. Zero point four five. Oh, went a little bit over on that. No, not really. Actually, it's pretty spot on. So that's good. I'm just gonna wipe this pipette down. Try to keep it. Squirt a little bit of it off. Or squirt the excess off, I should say, into the paper towel. Just trying to keep it as clean as possible but I don't have any means to clean it. So that's as good as it's going to get, sadly. All right. Last but not least is Vanilla Bean Ice Cream by TFA. This is in at 2% or 0 0.6 grams. And again, this is just building that cream note is what it's doing. It's kind of adding to the cream, giving it a bit of mouthfeel. It works really well, so. Okay, just a tiny bit more in here. One more drop should do it. There we go. All right, so that's all our flavors in, so I'm going to just close this bottle up. And now we need the nicotine VG and PG. So let's start with the nicotine. First off and foremost, wear gloves when you wear or using nicotine. You wouldn't wear nicotine. I, at least I hope you wouldn't. <laughs> um, wear gloves. Keep it away from children and pets. Shake it very well. And don't get it on your skin. Don't get it in your eyes. Don't get it in your mouth. Don't get it anywhere. You don't want it anywhere. This stuff is no bueno. You don't want it anywhere that's going to hurt you or someone else. So I'm going to shake this nicotine up. And once we're done, I will be right on back and we will put it in the bottle. All right, so the nicotine has been shaken up and we're gonna turn our scale back on because it turned off. So we need 0 0.93 grams of Nic. Oh shit, I just spilled it. Don't do what I just did. Okay, now I have a paper towel here and I'm going to use that to clean this up. Very thoroughly. Okay. 
bottle's been cleaned up. This is going straight in the trash bag that I have available. So I do not touch it. Because you do not want to touch that. You will get very sick very quick. All right. Now, as the nicotine is in, it's time for the VG and PG. So we need 28.49 grams of VG. So let's get that in. There we go. PG's in. Now for the PG. PG is in at 5.13 grams. I'll leave it right about there just so I can mix it. And yeah, so now let's go ahead and pop our little handy dandy Norpro together just like that and we'll mix it up whoa it's flinging it everywhere calm down All right, that should do it. So we'll set that to one side. Grab ourselves another paper towel and wipe this down. All right. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and head back up top, and uh, we will talk about the e-liquid. Try it out, see what it tastes like. So I will see you guys back up top. All right, so we're back up on top, and uh, we've got our freshly bottled, fresh bottle of e-liquid. Got a... Uh, Goon 22 just picked this up yesterday and I've just got some micro coils in there dry burn the coils no fresh cotton not gonna not gonna lie I didn't put fresh cotton in here because I was actually vaping the first version of this and it's pretty good so we're gonna trip this on here get it nice and saturated pop that on give it for a vape So you don't taste much of the cereal right now. The berry cereal will probably come through with steeping. Um, let me drip some more of it. Yeah, I might up the berry cereal on the recipe it's to a four percent, so you might not you might see like a a change in it. But I do have um, where are you? You're somewhere around here. I know it. I do have this version right here. This is actually a different cereal that I was working on, but they're relatively the same. And um, I might add from that recipe to this one. So if there are any changes, there will be some changes in the beginning of the video, probably. And uh, I'll just let you guys know what's changed. Yeah, 
Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. With this one, you get a nice strong cereal. So. So, I'm probably going to up the cereal a little bit. And um, if there's any other changes, you'll find them in the recipe. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Just keep in mind, this is a development in development recipe. So if you have any suggestions to improve it, I know that uh, John from JFM Development did suggest adding um, hazelnut to the mix. So I will definitely pick up hazelnut and we'll put that in there when I get it into the uh, ELR link and we'll go from there. So yeah, like I said, cereal's not really there just yet. It needs to steep, but once it does, I think it'll be good. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.